Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to create a new song in Studio 1.4. The first thing you need to do in order to create a new song is obviously open the software. Let it load. Okay, it's telling me your MIDI configuration has changed. This might be due to removable devices currently not plugged in. Do you want to reconnect your external devices now? I'm going to say no. The reason is because I used to have a MIDI controller plugged into my computer, not anymore, so I'm not really going to reconnect it. And there it is. Here's our Studio One, um, I guess, main screen where you could create a new song, create a new project, or open an existing document. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to create a new song. Here. So we have the new song. Uh, window. It has two areas, the area on the left and the area on the right. We're going to start with the right. First thing you need to do, song title. Uh, Studio 1.4 is going to give it a default name, which you can always click to highlight, delete, and then type your name. We're going to we're gonna go ahead and call this my great, uh, actually let's say my best song. Let's call it my best song. Then you have, right underneath that, the location where that's going to be stored, okay? By default, the location will go to, you go to Finder, your Documents folder, there's going to be a Studio One folder inside that, then there's going to be a Songs folder, and that's where your song's going to be stored, okay? That's the default destination. Let's go ahead and change it, okay? Um, oops, sorry. There it is. <laughs> so if you go ahead and click on the three little dots, you could change that folder. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to the desktop. I'll just store it on my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to select desktop, open, and so that's where it's going to be stored. It's going to create a folder inside the desktop called My Best Song. And inside that folder, we're going to have all the files related to this song. Okay, now we're going to go to sample rate. You have several options. This is also going to depend on your interface. Okay, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to leave the sample rate at 44.1 kilohertz. Same with the resolution. You get 16 bits, 24, 32 bit float. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to leave it at 24. Uh, by the way, 44.1, 24 is a default, or I guess the standard for audio recording. So we're, ju we're just going to use that. Time base. You have bars, seconds, samples, or frames. I'm going to use bars because I like to see my timeline with bars, okay? I think it's easier to edit, and, you know, copy and paste things. So I'm just going to leave it as bars. Song length. Um, so basically, this is going to be the initial length of the song. What I typically do, I leave it in 10 minutes because I want to make sure that the song length that I select here um, is longer than the actual length of the recording. Um, I typically never record anything past four or five minutes long, um, so 10 minutes is more than enough. Now you have your tempo. Uh, by default, or I guess in this case, it's showing 150 bits per minute. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on it, delete, and then let's go ahead and type 135. 135. So what's going to happen here is when I create the song, the metronome is going to be set to 135 35, uh, beats per minute. Then you have, you have your time signature. I'm going to leave it default as 4-4, but you could switch it to whatever you want. Then you have your key signature. You can select your key from there. I'm not going to select any key. Um, and then you have stretch audio files to song tempo. I like this option to be unchecked. Why? If I'm importing a, a so, uh, an audio file to my song, I don't want it to stretch. Uh, typically, when I import audio files, let's say a a sample of a, a, a gunshot, I don't want it to be stretched. I just want it to play back the way it is. So I'm going to leave that on check. The same with play overlaps. That's the right side of the window. Now on the left side, we have styles, interfaces, and user. We go to styles. We have all these, I guess, presets, okay, of styles of songs. I'm going to do empty songs. So when it creates the song, there's absolutely no tracks, no VCAs. 
no folders, no nothing inside the song. It's completely empty. It's a blank canvas. Now you have interfaces. Um, when you go to interfaces, you have all of these, I guess, personas, uh, interfaces that you could select if you had one, and it would create a um, a song to match that interface. Same with the I.O. Um, I'm just going to leave it an empty song. And then we can go ahead and press OK to create the song following these configurations. Press OK. Here's our song. As we said before, it's, it's completely empty. There's no tracks, no folders, no VCAs, no virtual instruments. It's a blank canvas. And as you can see, it's titled My Best Song. Now we can start working here. Now, let's make sure that this was saved to the proper destination. We go to Finder, Desktop, there it is, My Best Song. Um, it's actually also here. You can see here, My Best Song. So that's how you create a new song in Studio One 4. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you have any question, please call us, Obedient PC Audio Labs. Thank you very much, and you have a great day. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.